All right, Nick Cox here with Gristle King and walking you through what's going on with these new nano tags. Now, nano tags are pretty rad things, little uh, stickers that you can use to slap on pretty much anything, skateboard, bike, paraglider bag, whatever it is you want, and they give you your location. Now, the big thing about them is that they just give you the location of the nearest hotspot. So in this case, if you look over my shoulder on top of my house back there, there is a big pole with a hotspot on it. What does that mean? Well, it means the FedEx truck is coming up there. Watch out so it'll get squashed. But it means that you're not going to get an exact location. What you're going to get, what's up, FedEx? Is uh, you're going to get the location of the nearest hotspot. So that means it's really good for tracking stuff and getting pretty close, um, but not exact stuff. You're not doing geodet, you know, sub, sub centimeter accuracy. Uh, so depending on what you want to track, it can be a really good thing to use because the important part is that the battery life is incredible. The thing has uh, 50,000 transmissions, so you can set it to fire every five minutes, in which case you get 10,000 total minutes, or every couple hours, or every couple days. Maybe once a day gives you 50,000 days. That's a long time. Uh, in general, you can think that five minutes, a frequency of five minutes, will give you a couple months worth of tracking. Now, the thing is pretty small. It's about the size of a McDonald's napkin. And so that means you can put it anywhere. You can put it on a skateboard. You can put it on my paraglider backpack. You can put it on your bicycle if you want. You can put it on a car. You can put it in a freezer. You can put it in a box of perishable cookies getting shipped across the nation. Uh, there's an almost unlimited amount of places you can put it because it is so small and so easy to uh, stick on to anything. So pretty rad there. The next question that most people have with these nano tags is how do I actually see the location, right? We've all had the experience, or maybe you haven't, but you buy a sensor, you get really excited about it, and then you don't know exactly how to see what the information is that it's uh, giving you, whether it's temperature, location, humidity, whatever. Uh, there are two really easy ways to, to do it. One is through Uplink Engine, which is an integration being used by NanoThings themselves. And then another thing that is being used is Neil's uh, trackpack.io, BFG Neil. It doesn't really matter which one you use. They both do similar things in a little bit different ways. They're both going to give you pretty good location. And really what they'll do is give you access to the next step in the evolution of helium, which is using these things in real life to track real things. Now, what does all this mean? In the long term, what this means is that helium is getting, I gotta look to my right so I don't get smashed by a car. Uh, helium is getting better. As we're starting to see companies, whether they're hardware or software companies, come online and they are helping us figure out what's going on in the world. And that's really the promising thing about this whole nanotags thing and really what's going on right now in Helium is not that there's a specific product out there. There's a ton of different tracking products. All of them are good. They all do different things. It's that this global LoRaWAN network that we built, we the people of Helium have built, is now being used and is becoming more and more useful every day. And that is the absolute most exciting thing out there. So that's what's going on from San Diego. Nick Ox, Grizzle King, rock and roll.